Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen Cooking. We're so glad you joined us again today. Um, thank you so much for watching our last video. It was my second most viewed video in all my videography. Um, I'm mainly sure it's because of this one started in it. So hopefully moving forward, we are seeing a lot more higher views uh, because I got a pretty lady with me now. Um, but as you can see today, we are donning our 4th of July apparel red white and cute and true to the red white and blue yeah <laughs> um, so we are celebrating the fourth of july and our dish dishes are going to be centering around like barbecue dishes or something you can take to your fourth of july party um but mainly because it is loray's favorite holiday so tell them why you love the fourth of july well i am proud to be an american and be free in my country and i love to celebrate fourth of july and go down to boulder city to the small little town there and watch everyone get very patriotic and have a great time so it's my favorite holiday i love it <laughs> awesome awesome well before we get into our dish today uh we recently went to bryce canyon utah and it was beyond gorgeous so hopefully i'm putting some pictures up on the screen right now everything looks so fake because it was so beautiful it looked right out of Disneyland but it was the real deal and uh, we even went to a rodeo there and that was pretty awesome too um, just being there at the rodeo and in nature that really is God's country and seeing people at the rodeo is like those are true Americans and we just had a really great yeah. time this one here is really good at playing the guitar and we did a Tom Petty song when we were camping out there around the fire and I'm free So for today's recipe, instead of um, cooking something in the oven or on the burners and sweating our guts off, we thought we would make a no-bake recipe. So can you tell them what it's called and what we're doing today? Yes, uh, we are doing a no-bake Oreo cheesecake. And we have um, a fruit tray, like that's decorated. In the American flag, right? <laughs> yeah, it's decorated as the American flag. Perfect, so let's go see what we're working with today. Also, one thing, <laughs> One thing I would like to also add is that this one became famous when the fire happened across the street because he was on the news. We saw a dumpster on fire, and that's when like all the panic hit. It was too much. Uh, I spoke with Michael Corscotten, who lives here. He says it was a total chaos yesterday at the scene. Uh, he recalls several dumpsters catching on fire and embers blowing onto their roofs. He evacuated for safety and says he's never dealt with something like this before. And I saw the picture and it was clearly the one across the street, but when we looked out our window, we saw a dumpster on fire and that's when like all panic hit. And then we walked outside and the police were like, please evacuate immediately. And so we jumped in the car and started to drive around and saw other dumpsters on fire. All right, so now let's go see what we're working with today. All right, so I got my beautiful model here. She's gonna show you what we're working with today. The first thing is whipped cream, or Cool Whip. Yes, so perfect. And then we got some cream cheese. What is it, 32? 32 ounces. 32 ounces. And then we got some patriotic sprinkles that we're gonna work with, so those look really good. And then we got some Oreos. It's Oreo clock somewhere. Um, so we're gonna be working with those. We've got the and then we have grounded sugar, so we're gonna use that. And then we got some heart healthy butter. Uh, disclaimer, that is not heart healthy. <laughs> um, so our first step is going to be making the crust. Lorraine is gonna take about 25 Oreos and put them in a bowl and smash them up into pieces with a hammer. And then once we get them chopped up, we're gonna put them in a food processor and really blend them up to make that good crust. going to take how many? Six tablespoons. Six tablespoons of butter and mix it with the uh, blended and grinded um, Oreos. Yes, and we're using a half a tablespoon, so that's why there's going to be 12 instead of six. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now that we've mixed in the copious amounts of butter, what are we gonna do? Now we are going to form the crust in the bottom of the pan. First, we're gonna grease the pan first so it doesn't stick, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we just took the crust out of the freezer, and now we're gonna combine the sour cream, nope, cream cheese <laughs> and sugar, and get it really well and mixed up, and then we'll add what? The Cool Whip. The Cool Whip. Mm, very good. <laughs> As you can see, we laid the mixture right on top of the uh, crust. And then now we're going to put this in the refrigerator. Nope, the freezer for four hours. No, refrigerator. This oh, way. it is a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. See? Why well, should I have heard it? <laughs> <laughs> no. so we're going to put it in the refrigerator for four hours. Now that our Oreo dish is in the refrigerator, we're gonna create another snack or finger food, uh, which is gonna be an American flag made out of cheese and fruit. And Larray a while back when we were in Boulder City, bought some cookie cutters or like shapes, and she used the star shape today to create cheese stars. And we're gonna create an American flag out of the snack. That came out really good. It does look like an American flag. I'm actually really impressed. Um, we've definitely been sampling the strawberries and the blueberries uh, <laughs> because we are very hungry and it is late at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. Uh, like we mentioned, we've still got about three hours to go until we can finish the Oreo dish. And as many of you know, I am not a night owl. Since I met her, I've been staying up way later than my usual bedtime at nine <laughs> o'clock. And so it's 10 o'clock right now and we're gonna have to wait three more hours. So. We're gonna finish the Oreo stuff in the morning. But if you're doing it yourself and you started earlier, just remember it's about four hours that you want that sitting in the fridge before you take next steps of putting the Oreos on top. The next day. As you can see, we are no longer donning our 4th of July apparel, but we still kind of match. Uh, however, uh, we did take the Oreo dish out of the refrigerator and it looks really nice. So just a couple final touches and we'll be on our way. All right, as you can see, the finished product is here. It looks Pinterest perfect. And so we did get this recipe from Pinterest. We are gonna put it in the recipe, the recipe, the description below. Uh, so you can follow along as well, but this really came out great. Lorraine really outdid herself. She layered everything so perfectly. You know, being fans of my channel for a long time, if I did this, it would not look as good. But the key thing, does it taste as good? So let's take a bite. Really good. Mm. Wow. That is outstanding. It's very, very good. As you can see, it was super easy. No oven, no range, nothing to cook. You just layer it, put it in the fridge for a couple hours. It really does work on its own. Um, so I highly recommend this if you need something quick and easy to whip up. And like you saw the fruit and cheese tray, very patriotic, very easy to whip up as well. So with that, we want to wish you a very happy 4th of July and a very uh, fun summer. And we will see you on the next episode of In the Kitchen Cooking. Happy 4th of July.